going on guys? I've got another Wi-Fi battle for you today. This one is going to be using some old classics like Chandelord, Female Troll, um, Lanoon, Dunk Master, KB, and uh, Chandelord. Now Chandelord didn't really see much play on uh, on X and Y, but I did use it once or twice. So it uh, should be pretty fun to use that. We've also got the new 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 team members which I haven't used in X and Y. Which are Gallade, uh, Lanta, and Noivern. Now, Noivern's not in my team anymore. This video was quite some time ago. I just wanted to stagger the upload so we have not the same team in a row so many times. So, yeah. Uh, so, let's just get started and see what happens. Now, my commentary night might not be as perfect as usual because... Of course, it's never perfect. But, uh, might not be as good as usual because this battle was quite some time ago. So, I start off with Female Troll. Try to get, uh, some hazards up or, like, something up in general. He starts off with uh, Armaldo. That's fine. I'm not really scared of this thing, mainly because I know it can't really one-shot me with anything it has. So it goes for X Scissor. I don't know how much I was expecting this to do, but it did It did a reasonable amount of damage. I mean, it didn't one-hit KO, which is exactly what I wanted. I got up spikes. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to swap out into a more safe option. So I go into uh, Lantern here. Lantern, worst comes to worst. If he fears the Skull, he's going to uh, switch out. If I uh, do Skull, I can get the burn, or uh, try to get the burn, uh, or I can Volt Switch out to get Switch Advantage. I just go straight for the Skull, because it's early game, we don't really need to make any uh, massive plays here. He goes for uh, Earthquake, he stays in and goes for Earthquake. Now, I didn't really did not expect that to KO. This Lantern is garbage, like, Lantern's not the best of things, but it's it's alright, it's not a bad Pokemon. Much better than Noivern, anyway. Uh, now I go into Gallade, this thing's on half health, I can Mega Evolve in with safety and get that, uh, permanent speed up boost, so that's always good. Uh, he's gonna stay in, uh, obviously, I think he just wanted to sack his Armaldo at this point. Pretty cool Pokemon though, I haven't seen anyone use this this gen, so that's really cool. I think the last guy I saw use this was that, uh, Mono Bug Team video we had, where, um, that man used the Swift Swim Armaldo, uh, can't, I don't know if it's pronounced Armaldo, but yeah, Armaldo. Uh, so, unfortunately, Drain Punch does not quite kill him, but, uh, the Shadow Sneak does indeed kill him, but it's going to put uh, Gallade on very low health because of the Rocky Helmet he was uh, having on that Pokemon. Now he goes into Donut Lube Disc. Um, uh, the Amola Mola. I'm going to swap out here because I do want to keep Gallade for later. It's one of the strongest members of my team at this point. So I go into this. I was expecting the Skull, and he does go for the Skull. That's not going to really do anything. Resisted and I'm specially defensive, so it does 9 damage. A grand total of 9 damage. That is a uh, pretty pretty strong place there. So Leftovers is going to heal me up for uh, 11 damage there. So I made a surplus on that encounter. And uh, his Leftovers is going to heal him up as well. Now he swaps out of uh, this Love Disc and sends out Sceptile. Uh, I think he was expecting the Leech Seed here. Leech Seed or Giga Drain, one of the two. So I do indeed go for the Giga Drain, that's fine. I mean, I get off a reasonable amount of damage on this thing regardless, like... That wasn't bad at all. I mean, I got about 16, 18 HP back from that, which is pretty nice. And I get the leftovers recovery, which almost puts me... Oh, well, it does put me back into green, sorry. So, that's that's awesome, man. Now, uh, he's going to use... He's going to use Mega Sceptile. Now, this, this is the main thing I wanted to show in this video. This Mega Sceptile put in a bit of work, this uh, this game. So, uh, his Mega Sceptile is going to go for Dragon Breath here. There's a bit of hacks involved in this game, because this was sort of straight after this man beat the game so he wasn't really prepared for the battle that well but he did have some pokemon so that was cool uh he goes to dragon breath here obviously because he does not have uh the battle points to buy dragon pulse or the tm i can't remember which one it is but one of the two goes for another dragon breath as you can see the very very cool animation of uh septile's special attacking moves where it throws its tail i really really want to use mega septile i haven't really worked out a team for him yet unfortunately uh that ice team's coming on uh coming along quite nicely so that's pretty good um, works. It has worked out better than most ice teams I've seen. I'm just gonna let Rosary die here. It's served its purpose. Not really needed. It. It's on too low, low HP anyway. So, yeah, Rosary is just gonna die there. Uh, Sceptile putting in work with uh, Dragon Breath somehow. Now I'm going to Chandler. I know I'm gonna outspeed with the Choice Scarf. He knows this as well uh, because I'm assuming he's been watching my stream. Goes into Sharpedo to tick the Fire Blast from Chandler. Uh, I'm not. Not sure what I do. Oh, okay, I use Shadow Ball just to be because Fire Blast is neutral anyway. But uh, Sharpedo does resist Shadow Ball anyway, so that's fine. And Fire Blast has a chance to miss as well. 
So, uh, yeah, that was, that was all good. I go for another Shadow Ball, and that's going to take out Sharpedo. Uh, Sharpedo, I, I, I don't like the Mega. I don't even like the normal, to be honest. It's sort of, sort of a weird Pokemon. You have to play it right. That's the thing. He goes into Camera Up here. Camera Up's going to uh, do nothing because it is a Camera Up. So I swap out into Noivern here, expecting the Earth Tower. Uh, I believe he does go for the Earth Tower. Oh wait, no, sorry. He goes for Stone Edge. Okay, he goes to Stone Edge. Stone Edge is going to almost take out Noivern. Uh, Noivern hanging in there uh, from the Camera Up. Which was pretty interesting. I, I did not expect Noivern to uh, take that hit well. So it allows me to get off the Draco Meteor. I think that's going to kill this uh, this Camera Up. And indeed it, did, it does definitely kill the Camera Up. So that's all good and well. Now we are sort of equally matched in this match. Which is pretty cool. Now he sends out Blue Bloods, these Zangus. This thing I am afraid of. I'm afraid this thing is going to set up all over my face. Because I'm at minus 2. And uh, I just really want to kill it quickly to be honest. I know it's Toxic Orb will activate the turn after, so yeah, I just really want to kill it fast. Fortunately for me, I believe I do get the crit there. Oh wait, no, I don't even get the crit, it just dies. Okay, sorry, Noivern OP! Forgot how OP Noivern was, sorry guys, sorry, sorry. Now he goes into Sceptile, Sceptile is going to take that yummy 25% spikes damage. I believe I do go for another Draco here. Just want to try, try my luck to take this out, but uh... Yeah, that's it's not it's not gonna take out from that range, and he avoids the attack anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Just take out Noivern here. I don't know what my what was my thought process there, but that was a pretty bad thought process, whatever that was. Because now to take damage from this, have the chance of getting paralyzed is just really really crappy, and I I do indeed get paralyzed. So now Chandler is pretty much dead because it's gonna outspeed the next turn and kill me. So I should have definitely waited until Noivern was like sacked Noivern. And let Chandelure do its thing. Chandelure gets paralyzed again. So uh, he's going to take out Chandelure with a bit of hacks. And that sort of sucks. But uh, yeah, things things happen. Things happen. So that's all good and well. Now I go into Dunk Master. Dunk Master is my last hope in this match. The Belly Drum Extreme, Extreme Speed plays. He goes to Focus Blast. He manages to hit the Focus Blast. And that is going to be the end of Dunk Master. Unfortunately, uh, Dunk Master did not pull through there. That's all fine. I mean... Yeah, once again, things do happen. Now I'm going to Seto Kaiba. Seto Kaiba, no, nah, it's not going to not gonna outspeed the Sceptile. Not going to do anything. This Sceptile is really strong with the hacks and everything this game. I mean, I, could, I couldn't do anything uh, against this thing. He hits the Focus Blast, gets the Paralyze on Chandelure. Chandelure gets paralyzed two turns in a row. I mean, like, I, can't, I can't do anything for that. It's, all, it's over when that happens, so, yeah. Uh, he goes to Dragon Breath again. That is going to take out Noivern, and that will be the game. So, unfortunately, I did lose that one to a bit of hacks, but, uh, very nice game. Uh, I believe it was Declan Guesty, uh, nin the Ninja Guesty, aka Skype guy. So, um, yeah, nice match. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in a future video. Uh, please do remember to subscribe, like, comment, check out my other content, which will appear after this. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all later.